What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Melissa and today we have another massive $1,000 thrift haul. So I'm going to try to bang this all out in just one video. I have a ton of Tommy, a ton of Nike, a ton of super cute coats and everything very on trend stuff make sure to go check out my depop for all of this stuff obviously it will all be listed up when this video goes live so definitely go check it out also follow my instagram my instagram is at threads obsessed also follow my or add me on snapchat my snapchat is melissa taddy but without further ado before this video gets way too long let's get into it we're gonna start this video off with some graphic t-shirts your girl picked up some hella cute graphic t-shirts so Let's go. So the first one that I picked up is this bright Nautica yellow t-shirt. I'm gonna go pretty fast with the graphics because you know, they're just graphic t-shirts. They're pretty self-explanatory. So I got this Nautica one in that bright ass yellow color. Absolutely living for yellow, obviously. Although today I am sporting a green, green goblin look as I like to call it. And then this Harley Davidson motorcycle wrap. I've been looking for a shirt like this for so long with the big logo right in the front. I come across a lot of Harley, but I haven't had one with this logo right in the front. So this one is probably staying in my wardrobe. The next shirt, which I have been looking for for ever, I tell you. I wanted a big East Esprit. I wanted a big Esprit shirt with the Esprit right on the front and I finally found it and it's in green, which I, I really should have just wore this shirt today. Again, another green shirt. If you saw my What's On My Rack video, you would have seen me show you guys these. I picked up two of these Umbro shirts and Umbro is like my new thing. I'm totally into it. I love the sleeves and like the lining on the sleeves. I just feel like that's really cute. It's a little cute feminine touch almost. I don't know. I just really like them. So they're just some cute graphics. This one I think I will put on my Depop possibly for you guys, but I'm definitely going to be keeping the red one. The next top, I'm not really too sure. Like, I'm pretty sure it might be fake. I think someone may have made this, but regardless, it's really, really cool. It doesn't have a tag in it, but it's this Nike striped polo top with a pair of red pants. This is poppin'. It has the logo, which is red and yellow. The next top, again, 110% fake. We love that bootleg. So I picked up this Gucci shirt and it's just a cute blue polo. This actually is really cute on. You'll see in the try on. And then I found two of these Tommy Hilfiger shirts. I think that a lot of you guys have seen these a ton before. So I won't really like unfold them or anything. But I found this one in a green, which I've never found a green one. So I'm pretty pumped. So now I have a red, a green, and a gray in my collection. Another Tommy piece is this one. This was such a come up also. It has like Tommy all down at like the armpit, I guess. And it's like blue and gray, bomb.com. Another bootleg Gucci piece or fake Gucci piece, but it says Gucci Guilty. Gucci Guilty, it has the GG right on the front there. Pretty bomb, if I would say so myself. The next piece is a Dickies piece and I found a hoodie before like a few weeks ago and then I found this long sleeve graphic. Okay, then I have a Kappa piece. Kappa, very hard to come across nowadays because it is the hype beast dream to come across some Kappa. So I found this Kappa shirt, really cute white and black colorway. And then two like different type of tops, very like 90s or early 2000s, late 90s, early 2000s. I found this DKNY active in this baby blue and it, I just love the cut of it. It's and then this, which reminds me so much of like late 90s, early 2000s, is this top right here. I'm pretty sure it's like a wrestling top, but just the way it's like cut and the sleeves and stuff just totally reminds me of the early 2000s, late 90s. So I thought this was really cool with like the design on it. Somebody literally dropped off their whole entire NASCAR graphic t-shirt collection because there was like 10 in a row. I'm only gonna show you guys three of them and I only think I got five. I left like a bunch. I should have just snagged them, but I was like, I can't be like that greedy. Uh, so the first one is this Talladega 500. I'm pretty sure that's what it says, NASCAR. Top, really bomb. I've been wearing this one a ton. And then the next two are Jeff Gordon, I'm pretty sure. 
um, DuPont ones. So this one has Jeff Gordon right on the front of it, number 24, and that has the DuPont on the back of it. And then this one also, another DuPont Jeff Gordon one. I had to snag all the Jeff Gordon ones, I'm sorry, but he's my dude. So I picked these up pretty bomb so those are the graphic t-shirts just two tops to show you guys i haven't been buying that many top tops recently so this top right here is a dolce and gabbana top super cool yes um, it's just this floral top it's really cute actually i really like the florals very grandma chic but that's what your girl is into and then this one right here right up my alley okay it has like the gingham print or like checker print whatever you want to call it look how cute this pocket is it has like little yellow handkerchiefs but it's just the perfect top and tucked in it just looks a1. Moving on to some sweaters now. It's actually really hard to find like cute sweaters right now because everyone is picking up sweaters. But I did, however, come across a few sweaters. This one is this bright green chaps. I feel like this is such a color right now. Like I'm living for green, if you couldn't tell. I think I've already said that 10 times. But this color right here, just wearing it underneath like a bomb jacket, like which is just like a pop, like even just a black jacket. If you just have a black jacket and just wear this under it's such a statement and it's nice and long just wear a nice cute pair of jeans and you are on point the next one is not really a sweater it's a long sleeve but I'm gonna show you anyways it is this polo Ralph Lauren um, turtleneck but it's in that like beige color very very minimal looking super into this tucked in with a nice pair of pants yet again super cute and perfect for the winter time this one again one of those OG vintage Nike sweaters super cute very comfortable red and gray colorway for all my Disney fans out there I know there's a few of you guys because you guys always message me and say look for more Disney stuff and I promise I'm on the hunt so this one is for you guys I found this really Really cute Mickey Mouse top sweater top sweater it's a sweater and it just has the big Mickey right there I think it's really cute then I found this one which I've styled in a few of my last videos if you want to see me style this definitely check out my last what to wear Wednesday but this is just really cute stripes colors right up my alley yet again is that the word of the day and this one is a very like kooji cosby type of sweater i love the patterns in it and it's a really cute colorway very again kind of like minimal colors and then this one was really cool i found this one yesterday it's the spitfire um sweater i love it it is just the big spitfire symbol right up in the middle of it in the red i just feel like this is really bomb you know again just wearing with a bomb jacket it's just another statement piece going on there unif vibes to me it's just this orange and yellow striped sweater really cute tucked in with a pair of red pants so on point and then the last sweater again another red sweater I just loved the stripes on this I thought it was really cute it's kind of like um, an orange red mixed with a red almost and I just think it's so cute it's just striped and even the sleeves and the bottom has like that orange again super cute so that is the sweaters for you guys okay moving on to some sport jackets and some um, windbreaker jackets is what I am trying to say so I love these this is, I know this is probably one of your guys' favorite sections to see. I personally love picking these up. I love finding them. I love wearing them. My collection is overflowing currently. So, starting off with one that is not a windbreaker though. This one is a Polo Ralph Lauren um, kind of bomber jacket. Very essential in that black colorway. This one, however, is a windbreaker and it's that Nike windbreaker. Very 90s early yeah late 90s I feel it's that really a nice navy color super cool and then oh this one I also have like hoodies and stuff in here I think also so you're gonna get a little bit of a taste of that so this one I have this nautica grid print gray sweater this is perfect honestly I'm thinking about keeping this because it's just like the perfect pullover sweater you look a little chic put together but you're very much so like that sporty chic I have an obsession with coca-cola and every time I see a windbreaker with coca-cola on it I have to pick it up it's just happening it's just what I do um, so this one's just black and it says coca-cola on it this one however is Ed Adidas jacket the cherry bright red and look at the back of it yes please so it might stay in my collection because it's just like 
This colorway is something else I'm living for. Blue and yellow, royal blue and yellow. So cute, it's this Umbro jacket again, as I mentioned before. I'm living for Umbro, so I picked this up. Another one, which I found in the little boys section. It's such a come up finding these in the little boys section. This is this Puma one. I love this colorway also. Just like these windbreakers, I'm obsessed with. I'm gonna say that for every single windbreaker. We got a forest green Adidas Hida happening. Yes, please. It's actually, like, is this too much? Maybe. A look. And then obviously, I found this OG Adidas, the OG symbol, um, red hoodie, pullover hoodie, whatever. You know, you know, this is the essential in the wardrobe. These are hella expensive. This one, however, really cool. I also found this beside the red one. It's this Polo Ralph Lauren pullover hoodie really cute. This is like really cool. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get it, but I'm really happy that I did. It's this purple and yellow, like old school Timberland weather gear. Um, pullover like, I guess it's like a windbreaker, but it's more so like a weather coat type of thing. And it has like the tree, the Timberland tree right there. I just thought this was so different and I have never seen something like this. So I was like, Ochre, I feel even the buttons are just like popping like they have like the tree on them. And pink, y'all know your girl was throwing in some pink into this haul, okay? We're not, we're not, we're not skimping out on some pink here. So I found two pink jackets. This one is a Nike windbreaker with that pink, super, super cute. This one, however, yes pink champion windbreaker right up my alley. I might keep this one, I'm not really sure yet. But it's just like so perfect and it's in the best condition ever. So to have some Fila in here, this is this amazing Fila jacket if I can find it. It's that red, white, and blue colorway, the American USA colorway. This one is a Nautica jeans red fleece sweater. Very, very comfortable and cozy. All right, and moving down to the last two hoodies. Also found beside, I've been finding a lot of doubles beside each other recently. So I don't know if people are buying things in twos or whatever nowadays. But I found two Adidas sweaters. This one is black. I actually might keep this one. Um, it says, it just has the Adidas symbol on it. It's just plain black, but very essential for the wardrobe. And then this this one is actually brand new with tags. Again, the same type of situation, but it is that bright cherry red. Your girl found some more Kappa, but like the perfect red Kappa jacket. This one is mine that I have in my collection. Not sure which one I want to keep. I know I'm being greedy if I keep both of them. So this one will probably be up onto my Depop or at least one of them will be up on my Depop. This one is so incredible. It's that red. We're gonna quickly move on to some accessories before I get into the coats and the pants. So I don't have that many accessories to show you guys and a lot of them are staying in my wardrobe. But I know you guys like to see what I'm currently loving so... I thought I would show you guys. I'll start with some hats. So I found this dope Ferrari hat. Um, I am such a hat girl right now. I'm such an accessory girl right now. I used to not like accessories. I used to never ever wear accessories like jewelry, nothing. And now I'm such an accessory girl. So I found this amazing hat, this Ferrari hat. Actually, my mom found this for me. And then I also obviously have been loving berets and like newsboy caps and such. So my mom actually found this one also for me. It's this yellow beret. Totally. Yes. 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 Yellow. Yes. This one is so 2000s. It's this pink newsboy hat kind of thing. I don't even know. Is this a newsboy hat? Um, it's not a beret, but it's this pink like mohair hat. It's so cute. I would put it on, but I don't want to really mess up the hair, you know? And then I have one belt to show you guys. It's this cherry belt. It's one of those like snap clip on things. I also might keep this. Okay, moving on to a few bags. This one I will also be keeping. It's this leopard printed bag. I love leopard print and it's like fuzzy. So 
this is totally going to be staying here with moi. Okay, and then the next bag that I found is this British like Union Jack bag. It's so cool. It's new with tags. Also, this is totally giving me Spice Girls vibes. Okay, this is probably like one of the coolest things that has ever happened to me while thrifting. I found this Marc Jacobs bag. It's authentic. Um, and inside of it, it actually had the bag inside of it, like the, the dust bag or whatever it's called, which is so cool. I think this is such a cute bag. It actually has like a really cute chain and stuff. I'm not too fond about the color as much. Um, I wish it was like a brighter color, you know, like a bright red or something. So I think I might sell this up on my Depop, but it's really cute and I don't know, that was really cool finding this. And it's pretty much brand new condition. It's literally in perfect condition. So, okay, moving on to a few pairs of shoes. I only have three to show you guys and two of them I'm keeping. So the first ones that I will put up on my Depop for you guys because they are just a little bit too small for me are these ones. They're like these sock boots, but they're a little bit, they're like, they're probably knee high sock boots. They're size 37 and then the next two pairs which I will be keeping in my wardrobe these ones if you saw my trip to the thrift You would have seen me pick these up. They are so incredible. They're these Steve Madden snake skin or snake printed um, Slides, I think these are so bomb. This is actually like the fourth pair of Steve Madden slides that I have found And they're my favorite shoes. They're really comfortable and they're really chic looking and they give me a little bit of height And then the next pair that I found are these Fila sneakers and these these are in my size. I've been looking for Fila sneakers in my size for literally two years and I finally found them. They're so cute and they're actually like in pretty decent condition. So I will be keeping these. I just love a good sneaker and these are perfect for me. And moving on to my personal favorite part of my thrift hauls. It is the coat section. I am obsessed with with coats right now. I have been picking up so many, so I'm gonna show you guys what I've picked up. The first one is my amazing bright yellow puffer jacket. Oh my gosh, guys. As soon as I saw this, I literally was like, Okay, the next coat is really cool also. It's like this orangey red plaid coat. I've been seeing these a ton also, so I thought I would pick this one up for you guys. It's a little bit too big for me, but if you are like a medium large, this would look so good on you. Okay, the next coat is kind of a joke, but like I needed to get it. And it is this baby fat bomber jacket. It has like the big baby fat symbol in the back. This is like so iconic from the early 2000s so I had to pick it up I just thought this was so cute and honestly I might wear it like I don't know I think it's cute let's start let's start the new trend of baby fat coming back into style and this one I had a lot of people ask me if I had picked this jacket up and I actually did this is this amazing purple um, corduroy jacket. I'm totally into corduroy. Corduroy, actually everyone is into corduroy right now. And I picked up a bunch of corduroy jackets, which we will get into, but this is the first one that I found and it is just so cute. I found another one of those race car jackets. It is in the red and black colorway. It has like the checkerboard all on it. Like next coat is a longer coat and it's like this gingham print. Gingham is such so on trend right now there's so many people wearing gingham um it was definitely really big in the summertime but moving into the fall this is a way to bring that pattern into the fall time and it is this gingham printed coat as this next coat though like big bird is shook but like purple big bird it is literally so incredible it's honestly like I don't even know it's like feather boa material almost it's actually by DKNY so it's a really good brand but like how could I not pick this up like it, it's perfect okay as I said I'm totally into corduroy and I found this corduroy jacket with the shearling on of it. it just reminds me of that 70s show 
um, this is just like such a essential for right now. Okay, then I found a few denim trench coats. I have my eye on this one that I need to go pick up. I think I'm just gonna bite the bullet and buy it this weekend. But denim trench coats are so in, so I found a few. This one is not necessarily like a trench coat. It's a little bit shorter than a trench coat, but it's one of those long denim jackets. Really cute. I actually have another one that I'll show you guys in a second. First, we're gonna talk about this ice princess dream jacket it is so cute it's this light blue ice princessy jacket with a shearling on the collar yet again oh my gosh i literally have so much love for these jackets that i'm showing you guys you have no idea the next jacket if you saw my trip to the thrift you would have seen me pick this up and it is this wool rich which is a very good brand apparently I actually search it up and they have like their stuff goes for like 300 400 dollars which i was like so I found this really cool orange camo jacket. I just think it is such, again, a statement piece and a perfect layering piece for the winter time because it's going to keep you really warm. It is so well made. Like if you, if you could feel this, I wish you could feel this through the screen. It is literally so well made. Okay, the next jacket, which I will be keeping, I've been looking for a jacket like this for so long and I almost bought one off of Misguided and Topshop. Like they all, they're, they're everywhere right now. It's this red, like, suede jacket with shearling um, collar and like shearling all through the jacket it's just so perfect like the try on does not give it justice you have to see it in a whole outfit the next couple pieces I think I'm going to be keeping obviously it's going to be leopard and it is another puffer jacket this is literally so bomb like <sighs> such a look I cannot wait to wear this and then this one another leopard print piece but it is like fuzzy soft material okay like I have to wear these together like this is a match made in heaven so it's this cute like short cropped um leopard print jacket it is so perfect and then the next coat which is massive it is so big and comfortable. It is this, again, leopard print, but it had, like, on the collar, it's leopard print, but all over it, it is just this fake faux fur um, jacket, and it's so comfortable, and it will be perfect for the winter time. I actually have a way too many faux fur jackets that I've been rocking. Here was in my trip to the thrift, and I know a lot of you guys asked if I was putting this up on Depop, and I really was not planning on it but I know somebody will wear it a lot more than I will because I have so many coats so it's this gap shearling jacket and it is it's actually perfect I might not I may, may not be able to leave off but it has like the shearling on the collar and it's in this beautiful like mauve blush okay coming down to the last couple coats so this is what I was talking about that denim trench coat so perfect so long so on trend you can rock this like again another amazing layering piece okay this coat is something else that I might be keeping again it's green <laughs> it's this bright green corduroy jacket I actually found this yesterday I just think it is so cute obviously maybe not with this outfit but it is just so perfect and again that statement green all right and then we have a vinyl trench coat these have been a hit this fall season so I found this every time I see them at the thrift I have to pick them up again another statement coat I feel like all the coats I've been picking up are such statement pieces because that's what it's all about that's what falls about wearing your statement coat and the last piece is the perfect blazer jacket that I found I'm also keeping this one it fits me so so incredibly obsessed with wearing like sneakers with blazers and this is the perfect blazer I found another jacket similar and I thought that one was perfect this one beats it finally down to the last category the pants so let's get started this pair of pants that I picked up are these pink camo fleece pants they are like I've been looking for pink camo pants for so long and these are just a little bit different than like the cargo camo which I think is really cute so you can be like the same but different you can start your own trend be that girl okay the next pair of pants are ones that I'm keeping in my wardrobe and they're these amazing plaid type of pants they're like tartanish a bit but not really at the same time I love the colorway in them if you saw my what's on my rack video you would have seen these in there incredible corduroy pants they're like lime green almost lime green yellowish oh my gosh they make the booty 
top and they're just so cute they have like a little symbol says love jeans on them they're perfectly high-waisted I'm obsessed with them okay again another pair of statement pants <laughs> these would have been perfect if I was a convict for Halloween but they came after so I found these orange fleece pants again such a statement pair of pants I think I'm really into statement pieces if you could not tell let's take a shot every time I say statement all right and then the next pair of pants that I found are the blue cargo camo pants these have been so trendy recently adidas pants so I found these adidas the original adidas pants super super essential and then okay these are like really cool I've never found a pair of champion pants like these these are some champion pants but they are red and black they are a size large so I think they'd fit like a 34 waist and they have like the tearaways all in them and they're like this mesh material which is different I don't know I've never seen some like that so I thought that was really cool and then obviously some more corduroy so I found these corduroy caramel colored pants high-waisted and then we got some good old Levi jeans some black Levi kind of like faded out Levi jeans and then another pair of champion pants these are a size small um, some black champion pants also there are tearaways yet again these are very essential in the wardrobe these are really cool I might keep these they're a little bit big for me there are these overalls but they have like a wider leg like a culotte almost leg like a wider leg they're a little bit cropped so these pants are just so amazing look at that pattern though they just remind me of clueless like the movie clueless i don't know why they're just very chic and different and i love a good pair of statement pants okay so i found these plaid black and gray or silverish kind of pants very cute okay and then the next pair another pair of like statement pants these would fit like a 28 waist so these are these amazing high-waisted bright green pants i wish that these fit me so much like they're so perfect and then i have the good old fila pants so they have like the fila on the butt i actually thrifted two pair of fila pants but the other one sold already yeah they're about a size large these ones right here i think i might keep because they fit me really well they are these yellow grandma pants yes yes to yellow and then the last pair of pants which if you saw my what's on my rack video you would have seen me style or style these show you guys these these are these really cool adidas pants i thought these were so different and they're like almost like a cargo khaki type of pant so yeah i thought i would show you guys these ones in this haul and we are done we are done with this video i hope you guys enjoyed this thrift haul if you guys enjoyed it make sure to give it a big old thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below follow me on all of my social medias i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one